This is the digestive system on this big model. So we have the cecum down here, cecum, and then we have the ileocecal valve right there, and then we have the variform appendix, and the colon is the large intestine, so we have the ascending colon, transverse colon, and descending colon. Then we have the right colic or uh, hepatic flexor and the left colic or splenic flexor. And here you can see the spleen, you can see the liver. And then we have the sigmoid colon is right here, and this, this is the rectum. And then we have the um, internal and external sphincters, internal, external, anal sphincters. Then we have the anal canal and the anus. The hostra are these um, gray bumps. And uh, the tenia coli is this smooth muscle band. And you can see down here on this model as well. This is the tenia coli, hostra. <clears throat> then you got your ascending, transverse, descending colon, hepatic flexor, splenic flexor, or right flexor, left flexor, um, cecum, then the ileocecal valve right there, variform appendix, sigmoidal um, colon, rectum, and then we have the anal canal, anus, um, internal anal sphincters, external anal sphincters. And then on this model, you can see um, the epiploic appendages. Those are these little like fat globs that come off of the um, colon.